Otitis media with effusion, OM, also known as serous otitis media, SOM, or secretory otitis media, SOM, and colloquially referred to as glue ear, is fluid accumulation that can occur in the middle ear and mastoid air cells due to negative pressure produced by dysfunction of the eustachian tube. This can be associated with a viral upper respiratory infection, URI, or bacterial infection such as otitis media. An effusion can cause conductive hearing loss if it interferes with the transmission of vibrations of middle ear bones to the vestibulocochlear nerve complex that are created by sound waves. Early onset OM is associated with 1. Feeding of infants while lying down, 2. Early entry into group child care, 3. Parental smoking, 4. Lack, or too short a period of breastfeeding, 5. Greater amounts of time spent in group child care particularly those with a large number of children. These risk factors increase the incidence and duration of OM during the first two years of life. If OM is suspected and the presence of effusion on otoscopy is not evident by loss of landmarks, pneumatic otoscopy, tympanometry, or both should be used. One pneumatic otoscopy is a useful technique for the diagnosis of AOM and is 70% to 90% sensitive and specific for determining the presence of middle ear effusion. By comparison, simple otoscopy is 60% to 70% accurate. Inflammation with bulging of the tympanic membrane on otoscopy is highly predictive of AOM. Two pneumatic otoscopy is most helpful when cerumen is removed from the external auditory canal. Three tympanometry and acoustic reflectometry are valuable adjuncts to otoscopy or pneumatic otoscopy. Tympanometry has a sensitivity and specificity of 70% to 90% for the detection of middle ear fluid, but is dependent on patient cooperation. Combined with normal otoscopy findings, a normal tympanometry result may be helpful to predict absence of middle ear effusion. For acoustic reflectometry has lower sensitivity and specificity in detecting middle ear effusion and must be correlated with the clinical examination. 5. Tympanocentesis is the preferred method for detecting the presence of middle ear effusion and documenting bacterial etiology, but is rarely performed in the primary care setting. The decision to treat is usually made after a combination of physical exam and laboratory diagnosis, with additional testing including audiometry, tympanogram, temporal bone CT and MRI. Decongestants, glucocorticoids, and topical antibiotics are generally not effective as treatment for non-infectious, or serous, causes of mastoid effusion. Moreover, it is recommended against using antihistamines and decongestants in children with OM. In less severe cases or those without significant hearing impairment, the effusion can resolve spontaneously or with more conservative measures such as autoinflation. In more severe cases, Tympanostomy tubes can be inserted, possibly with adjuvant adenoidectomy as it shows a significant benefit as far as the resolution of middle ear effusion in children with OM is concerned.